Up to now, OWA gauge modellers have had to resort to expensive repaints for their Mark II DRS-branded coaching stock. With their 2020 range, Hornby have introduced their own off-the-shelf versions. So it's time to take a closer look. Hi, you're very welcome to today's review. So the first thing we're going to do is do a quick unboxing of the coaches. We'll then do a close-up view and 360 view, followed by a running session, and then we'll get into a summary, scoring, and a final recommendation. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so let's get into the unboxing for today. So in these, this series of Mark II coaches, uh, there are only actually three different coaches and two different coach types. Uh, there's a single open coach, second open coach, uh, which is the R4966. Uh, and there are two brake coach variants. So you get the R4967 and you get the 4967A. So that's it. I mean, that's it. There's no other options, unfortunately. So um, what I've purchased is four of these and these two, and that'll make the rake that I'll be using uh, for the running session later on. So let's take a look at um, these guys. Let's open up the box here. It's a very small little effectively detailing part there. Uh, from that kind of a popular detail. Um, these are Mark 2S, and I do have a separate review of the Hornby. Uh, blue and grey Mark II Fs and uh, the difference between those and the earlier Mark II Es. So, uh, so we won't going to go into the, that level of detail. Um, so these I'm expecting are pretty similar um, in terms of the Mark II F configuration and they do appear to be uh, out of the box. Um, but the, the, the underbody there looks to be pretty well in line with uh, the Mark II Fs that uh, the other Mark II Fs that I've looked at previously. So um, this is really going to come down to, I think, um, the, the livery and how the livery looks. Um, and we'll take a close-up uh, side-on view of this in the next little while. So um, that's the little mark beside the door there. Uh, overall, it, it's, it's a nice-looking coach. looks like a, a nice rendition of the uh, direct rail services livery. Um, just unfortunate that we only have the single running number, so we're only going to have to have the running number 5937. So I expect some people may be uh, going to modify that if they want to build a rake. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty well standard Mark II F from Hornby. Um, these do tend to run well, so I would expect during the running session that these will run well. I notice the paint there is a little bit, um, probably a little bit more of a matte finish, and I actually prefer that. I found the, the, the white on the ends of some of the earlier uh, Hornby coaches to be really a, a nearly a gloss type white and a very unrealistic and uh, made, made the, the, the end doors look very unrealistic as a result. Uh, but this looks a little bit better. So we'll take a, a close on look at, at this afterwards. Uh, just looking into the inside and the seating table detail, that's all there and it looks pretty good. I uh, haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put in some coach lighting into these. Um, uh, it wouldn't be too bad, or this is a, a relatively modest rake, so it's actually maybe feasible. Uh, so we'll take a look at that one another day. And we'll let's take a look at this guy. That's a brake coach. So first off, he's got um, a little bit more di different detail on the roof, uh, which is which is good to see. Um, again, probably a reasonably typical brake, but. Uh, this does look quite nice. Um, just looking at the handrails there, they're uh, look to be separately fitted pieces, but they don't um, still look to be plastic. So I'll we'll take again a closer look at that a little bit later on. Um, again, the detail here, it, it tends to be more molded detail than separate parts, uh, which would be, um, it's kind of typical for the Hornby coaches, uh, would be more that. Um, compared to say an Oxford coach, the Oxford Mark III's, which have lots of pieces added uh, to, to the models. Um, and that, again, that looks to be the case here. So all the, all the kind of handrail detail is all molded and, uh, and painted. Okay, so 
again that looks pretty respectable as a brake coach uh, so what we'll do now is we'll go and take a close side on view 360 view of these and then we'll get into the running session okay okay so now we're going to take a close-up view of the open coach and uh, you can see the the good underbody detail there which is pretty standard for the Mark II F's from Hornby this is standard fare I think the rendering of the livery is uh, pretty good uh, looking at uh, real life coaches these do tend to match up pretty good um, as I mentioned earlier the detail level in terms of things like handrails etc it's all molded detail here uh, so we're not talking about any added parts so there is a is a slightly lower level of detail on these than you would, as I say, get on uh, some other coaches from, say, Backman or uh, Oxford in terms of their Mark 3s. Uh, but nevertheless, this is a rendition, uh, a pretty good rendition of this uh, particular coach type. And summary for the brake coach, uh, again, the, uh, the, a lot of the detail in the brake area there, the bars, the, the grayed out window there, etc. Uh, the steps, uh, these are all in keeping with the, uh, the prototype. And, um, and and giving a good, I suppose, good rendering of that. Um, and so despite not having that next level of detail, uh, these, these coaches are pretty prototypical and, um, and, and representative. And again, the, the, the kind of red shocks effect, etc. These are all of the, the, the main coach type. So overall, um, I'm quite pleased with that level. And I think these coaches, I think you can be assured they are a good rendering of the, uh, the real coach. So now looking at a 360 view, uh, again, just to give a, a slightly different view and also see the ends of the coaches. As I mentioned um, in the outer box, the, uh, the, the ends, the, the kind of gray ends, they're still a bit bright. Uh, I think if you, again, if you look at the, at the, at the prototype coaches, they, they would have gray and a different, a, a, a kind of a black and a dark gray, rather than what we have here, which is more of a, of a, a very light gray or, or a kind of a matte white effect with with black and uh, so that's not really in keeping uh, with with the real coaches and I don't tend to like it it's a, so um, it is better it is a more of a matte finish than the gloss white that you get on some of the other uh, mark twos from Hornby have earlier renditions of them but uh, again I think they could improve and again the end detail uh, the really it is all molded detail uh, with obviously some of the safety stickers etc added on there painted handrails fixed buffers these come with uh, basic couplers as well, which are robust, but they don't give you th uh, the spring-loaded action, which allows you to do the close coupling you'd get on other coaches, like, again, like some of the Backman coaches, for example. Uh, but they are robust, and these coaches do tend to have a long life. So now we're going to get into the running session. Uh, so we'll get underway pretty quickly. So we've got a rake of six coaches here. We've got the two different brake coaches, one at the front, one at the back. We've got the four open coaches in the middle, and uh, we've been pulled here by a Backman Class 37, uh, which is running with um, Soundtracks DCC Sound. So um, we'll get underway at a, at a low speed here, and we'll pick it up pretty quickly, uh, just to see how these coaches fare out. I've never really had problems with the Mark uh, 2Es or Mark 2Fs from Hornby. I also didn't expect any here, and, and that was the case. I think the only comment I'll make is that these are pretty light coaches. That they weigh in at about I think it's about 126 grams, uh, which is light, and it does show. Uh, you do get a little bit more movement of the coach, um, sort of lateral movement on the track, which it doesn't really add to the realism. Uh, so they do move around a little bit more. They don't seem to run on the track quite as well as a heavier coach type. And that's kind of the only comment I would make, and and the only real impact in terms of the running performance. Otherwise, they work fine and they don't have any problems over the, the usual points, diamonds, other obstacles, etc. And uh, they're fine for running at speed. I suppose one benefit, because they are such a light coach, is that the drag factor on the locomotive is obviously less. Uh, so you could have a very long rake of these and, and the, the drag on your locomotive, particularly if you're running with the TTS controller, for example, um, uh, under DCC wouldn't, wouldn't be so bad. Uh, but I do prefer the heavier coach myself, and uh, and I kind of do reflect that in the scoring of these from a performance perspective. It's the kind of one drawback of, it's pretty well common to all of the uh, Mark II coaches from Hornby. They all are a little bit light, they could do with a little bit of extra weight in them. 
uh, obviously something you could uh, potentially add yourself if you wanted to and uh, th that would I think just help but otherwise they look fine um, uh, they do render well they they, um, they match their real life equivalents quite well and with a little bit of maybe added weathering on the underbody that, that might actually help or in the, the end area uh, to kind of cover up that, uh, that kind of light uh, white uh, matte white paint as I mentioned uh, but apart from that um, a good running session happy with them they look well they run well uh, no particular problems over point work etc so uh, you know I think overall a pretty pretty good from a, a running perspective and uh, they do look um, pretty prototypical in terms of the overall rake and uh, the effect they have on the layout so now we get into the uh, summary so here we've got uh, these are the Mark 2F coaches in the DRS livery three different coach types as, as I went through earlier with the three different numbers which obviously is a bit of a challenge if you're going to build a rake uh, you're going to have um, you know a number of those second opens with the same running number so if that's an issue for you then you'll be looking at maybe uh, ad ad adapting those running numbers and putting in your own uh, comes with standard NEM pockets and tension lock couplers uh, the fixed buffers I mentioned a very minimal detailing kit and this unpackaged weight of 126 grams for the BSO and 130 grams for the TSO the difference there being the the seating adding a little bit of extra weight for the open coach Typical price is thirty one fifty, which is what I paid as a pre order, or thirty four ninety nine, which is what you'd be pretty well paying today. Uh, you do see some vendors charging abs absorbent rates like forty two pounds. I've seen from one vendor, uh, which is just crazy money. So I wouldn't be looking to pay that sort of money. Okay, now we get into the scoring. So the running performance is a four star. And this is really held back by just that lack of weight that I mentioned during the running session. And this is in common with all of the Mark II Fs, so there's nothing new here. This is the same sort of score I would have given to any of the other Mark IIs from Hornby. Appearance and detail is a four star. I think the this is a good rendering of the livery. I think it does lack that extra fitted part detail. Uh, so I think four is kind of a compromise score and I think it's a good score. This is a good rendering in the livery and, a, and the coach is a good prototypical looking coach. Uh, but I say just lacking that extra piece of detail. Again, this is common to all of the Mark II Fs from, from Hornby. It's nothing new here. Extras and variants, a little bit disappointing here. Um, because we only've got uh, two different coach types and three to three coaches in total and two of those are brakes so that's quite limiting and uh, and there's a very minimalistic detailing kit so at really a two star this is a low score for for this the build quality and packaging uh, overall giving a four star i did notice a little bit of paint bleed on one of the coaches uh, you'd see the insert photograph there uh, but it was only on one of them and it, it, it did i did have to zoom in a bit to take uh, to actually see it overall the quality is, is good these are robust coaches and uh, the packaging is is more than satisfactory so uh, no 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 real issues there these coaches uh, historically mark 2f's do tend to last have a long life and uh, they tend to be around to to resell on ebay in the future when you, you want to uh, upgrade to another coach for example price value is four star i suppose the mark 2 fs have been creeping up a little bit um if you can get them at the 3150 range 32 33 that's probably a pretty good price uh 35 which is the recommended uh, retail price uh, which i say is a four star price for me and uh certainly don't get caught paying uh, you know the 42 pounds or some of those higher numbers that some of the retailers are looking for it's just crazy money hopefully hornby will produce enough coaches that uh, you can be paying the lower end of the range uh, so overall this is a four star and a recommended um, it is a good rendering as I say if you are looking for the DRS Mark II coaches these are perfectly fine and so no no concerns there and uh, I would definitely go go for them uh, as I say there has been a bit in, of an issue with these selling out on pre-order uh, so they're on back order at the moment uh, so it, it could be tight to, to, to get them and hopefully you don't have to end up paying a prohibitive price particularly for the open coach there really are very few options here so this is the most effective path and as I say just hopefully Hornby have some more stock and uh, if you're looking for this coach I don't have any problems go for it uh, at, at the kind of standard pricing okay I do have a full running session actually of these coaches as well I'll put the link in the description and I'll put a link to the Mark 2F review I did earlier on the blue-gray coaches just to give you a bit of background on that if you're interested thanks for watching today I hope this was useful a lot more videos actually lined up over the next few weeks to get them before Christmas so hopefully you'll join me on one or two of those and in the meantime, happy modeling.